Hey everyone, quick informational video. Um, but the first 1936 Plymouth Coupe, we've got the engine block all bored out, cleaned up, and painted. And I'm working on the cylinder head, but what we're going to do today, it's actually a pretty simple, I guess you could call it an upgrade. But I'm converting an emissions cylinder head to a non-emissions cylinder head. Now you can see on the exhaust ports, there's those holes drilled, like right here. And there was little, like these bronze looking rods that went down in there to collect exhaust gases to tell the electronic carburetor or whatever the heck it was to uh, do things and you got this big metal rod hanging out in your exhaust port creating unwanted turbulence so there's actually a very simple solution if you want to switch that over so what i've done is you see this bolt sitting here i took just a regular run of the mill tap here this is a 3 8 tap and I just took a, a drill bit, very lightly cleaned it up, ran my tap through here all the way. And what you can do is get your 3 8 tap and a 3 8 bolt. And all you really got to do, it's that simple. Just ream that out, run your bolt all the way through to get it bottomed out and get it good and tight. Once you get it tightened in place, you can come down in there, take a die grinder, and smooth it all out and then it creates a level surface for the uh, for the exhaust port that's a real simple trick you can do to convert an emissions head to a non emissions head as far as compression ratio I'm not as concerned I'm going from the original factory dish tops to 307 small block flat tops so probably 9 to 1 which is just perfect for a street driven vehicle with a little bit of pep but there's your quick uh, quick tip on how to convert a cylinder head if you got an emissions head and you don't want to have that random junk getting in the way on your hot rod build. Stay gold!